Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice square root math simplification problem. Square root of 21 plus the square root of 33 plus square root of 49 plus the square root of 77 divided by square root of 3 plus the square root of 11 plus the square root of 28. First of all, we suppose that this expression is equal to x. x is equal to this uh, square root of uh, 21 can be written as square root of 3 times 7 plus this uh, square root of 33 can be written as square root of 3 times 11 plus this uh, square root of uh, 49 can be written as square root of 7 times 7 plus uh, this uh, square root of 77 can be written as square root of 7 times 11 divided by this square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 11 plus this uh, square root of uh, 28 uh, can be written as square root of 4 times 7 x x is equal to by using this property square root of a times b is equal to square root of a times square root of b. This uh, square root of uh, 3 times 7 will become square root of 3 times square root of 7. This will become square root of 3 plus square root of 11 plus this will become square root of 7 times square root of 7 plus uh, this will become square root of 7 times square root of 11 divided by square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 11 plus uh, this is square root of uh, 4 times 7 will become square root of 4 times square root of 7. Next, x is equal to from these two terms uh, we can factor out square root of 3. Square root of 3 as common factor and in bracket left uh, square root of 7 plus square root of 11. Plus from these two terms uh, we can factor out square root of 7. Square root of 7 as common factor and in bracket left uh, square root of 7 plus square root of 11 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 11 plus this square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 7. Next x is equal to now this is square root of 7 plus the square root of 11 this is square root of 7 plus square root of 11 is a common factor. So, we factor out this square root of 7 plus square root of 11. And in bracket left, this square root of 3 and this plus the square root of 7. In bracket left, square root of 3 plus square root of 7 divided by square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 11. This uh, 2 times square root of 7, 2 times square root of 7 can be written as uh, square root of 7 plus square root of 7. So, we write this uh, 2 times square root of 7 as plus uh, square root of 7 plus square root of 7. Next x is equal to square root of 7 plus uh, square root of 11 times square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 7 divided by we make a group of this uh, square root of 7 plus this uh, square root of 11 square root of 7 plus uh, square root of 11 plus we make another group of uh, this square root of 3 and this uh, square root of 7. Square root of 
3 plus square root of 7. Now here we have square root of 7 plus square root of 11 and here we have square root of 7 plus square root of 11 and here we have a square root of 3 plus square root of 7 and here we have a square root of 3 plus square root of 7. So, we suppose that let a is equal to square root of 7 plus square root of 11, b is equal to square root of 3 plus square root of 7 and we substitute a and b in this equation then this equation will become x is equal to a times b divided by a plus b. Now, we take a reciprocal on both sides of this equation then 1 over x is equal to a plus b divided by a times b. This implies that 1 over x is equal to a divided by a b plus b divided by a b. Now, this a will be cancelled out with this a and here left 1. This b will be cancelled out with this b and here we are left with 1. So, this equation will become 1 over x is equal to 1 over b plus 1 over a. Now, we replace this b with this uh, square root of 3 plus the square root of 7 and we replace this a with this uh, square root of 7 plus the square root of 11. Then uh, this equation will become 1 over x is equal to 1 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 7 plus 1 divided by square root of 7 plus square root of 11. Next 1 over x is equal to 1 divided by this square root of 3 plus square root of 7 is same as square root of 7 plus square root of 3. Now, we rationalize the denominator. So, we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate of this square root of 7 plus the square root of 3. The conjugate is square root of 7 minus square root of 3 divided by square root of 7 minus square root of 3 plus this expression 1 over this square root of 7 plus the square root of 11 is same as square root of 11 plus square root of 7 and to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate of this square root of 11 plus the square root of 7. The conjugate is the square root of 11 minus square root of 7 divided by square root of 11 minus square root of 7. Next 1 over x is equal to this 1 times square root of 7 minus square root of 3 is square root of 7 minus square root of 3 divided by by using this algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This square root of 7 plus square root of 3 times the square root of 7 minus square root of 3 will become square root of 7 squared minus square root of 3 squared plus this 1 times square root of 11 minus square root of 7 is square root of 11 minus square root of 7 divided by by using this algebraic identity this square root of 11 plus square root of 7 times square root of 11 minus square root of 7 will become square root of 11 squared minus square root of 7 squared. Next 1 over x is equal to square root of 7 minus square root of 3 divided by this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this square will be cancelled out with this square root 
and this uh, 7 minus 3 will become 4 plus square root of 11 minus square root of 7 divided by this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root. And this 11 minus 7 is 4. Next 1 over x is equal to we write the common denominator 4 and this is square root of 7 minus square root of 3 will come here square root of 7 minus square root of 3 plus this square root of 11 minus square root of 7 7 next 1 over x is equal to this uh, positive square root of 7 will be cancelled out with this negative square root of 7 and uh, in the numerator we are left with the square root of 11 minus square root of 3 divided by 4. Now to find the value of x we take a reciprocal on both sides then x will be equal to 4 divided by square root of 11 minus square root of 3. And to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate of this uh, square root of 11 minus square root of 3. The conjugate is square root of 11 plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 11 plus square root of 3. X, x is equal to 4 times this expression 4 times square root of 11 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by this uh, square root of 11 minus square root of 3 times the uh, square root of 11 plus the square root of 3 will become square root of 11 squared minus square root of 3 squared. X, x is equal to 4 times square root of 11 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and uh, 11 minus 3 will become 8 and 4 1 times 4 2 times 8. So, x is equal to square root of 11 plus uh, square root of 3. This is the simplest form, this is the final answer of this problem.